Hallelujah. Can we pray? Spirit of the living God, thank you for your name. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your word. Thank you for enabling us to see another Easter in year 2024. This is your doing. This is your grace. We are grateful. Thank you because you are God. As we dissect into your word, we receive understanding. Grace in Jesus' precious name. Can I hear your beautiful amen? My research about Christ's resurrection. Please, I want you to understand the resurrection of Christ is no longer news. Somehow, 20, 24 years ago, Jesus paid the ultimate price by dying on the cross of Calvary. The place he was crucified was the place called Golgotha which is actually the exact spot where Abraham laid his beloved son Isaac as a sacrifice which is called the Mount of Moriah and you will agree with me after studying Galatians chapter 3 beginning from verse 1 to verse 20 that Isaac is the seed which is a type of Christ when Abraham was about to slaughter his beloved son Isaac God interrupted his plan and did tell Abraham to look behind and he saw a lamb and he said untie Isaac and use the lamb instead so the lamb became a substitute for Isaac just the way Jesus the lamb became a substitute for mankind the question is not the cross the question is the man on the cross because the cross did not started with Christ the cross was a capital punishment given to anyone who blasphemed the law so the capital punishment given to Jesus by Mosaic law was for him to be hung on the cross because that was the capital punishment for anyone who assumed the place of God in John chapter 10 from verse 1 if you read down Jesus said in chapter 8 chapter 9 chapter 10 that before Abraham I am and he categorically stated in John 14 that whosoever had seen him had seen the father so the Pharisees and the scribes had settled within the worlds of their mind that Jesus is proclaimed as God. To them, they weren't okay with that because they knew the place of his birth, his earthly mother Mary, his earthly father Joseph, and his siblings born from Joseph and Mary, although they knew his birth was distinct was unique so they had this thought that he was blasphemous and the capital punishment for him was to be hung on the cross so when people say point men to the cross i said it's not enough point men to christ on the cross because there are people that were also hung on the cross peter was hung on the cross but he said crucify me upside down somebody shout amen when the fiery serpents destroyed the children of Israelites back then in the wilderness, God did tell Moses to erect a cross, a symbol of a brazen serpent. Now, whosoever is beaten by those fiery serpents, when he or she look up to the brazen serpent, he or she is made whole. When Nicodemus came to Jesus in John chapter 3, if you read from verse 10 downward, the Bible said, Jesus told Nicodemus, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up that to be hung on the cross. That whosoever look to him, believe in him, will not perish, but have eternal life. Somebody shout, I hear you. And so I come to let you know that point people to Jesus on the cross, not just the cross. That is why you have a lot of people putting on cross and they tell you that is Christ, but not really. Mm. 
we have some occults that have the symbols of the cross and they use that to despise christianity and deceive a lot of people into freemasonry but that is actually wrong the cross is not christ hello however christ was hung on the cross somebody shout i hear you now that is just for introduction because we never had a good friday service that is to quickly remind you update you and bring you an awareness into my research about christ's resurrection quickly it is important for you to understand around 3 p.m on friday when jesus was hung on the cross the bible say he gave up his ghost now take note the reason why he died bible say he died willingly he gave up his ghost reason being the fact that he never wanted his bones to be broken because when the soldiers came to remove them or take them off from the cross and have them buried it is customary that they must bury anyone before the next day because the next day is the sabbath and it will be a taboo for anyone to walk on the sabbath so on the friday evening they came and discover the other two were still alive they were breathing so they had to break their bones their hands and have them buried but when they came to christ they did not break his bone the reason because he was already dead the reason is because he needed to come out of the grave without a broken bone is somebody following me and shortly there is a man called joseph arimathea my namesake but older than me i will see him in heaven one day he came and he demanded for the body of jesus to be given to him being an honorable man and a private disciple of jesus never an open disciple because he was afraid of the dissociation of the pharisees uh, as a result of his association with christ he demanded and begged for the body of jesus now i want you to understand that geographically where jesus was hung on the cross not far from that there was a garden and in that garden this man joseph arimathea had prepared his own personal burial place like um the ceo of access bank late you know he prepared his grief where he to be buried in his house before he died somebody shout amen and so this man had this place prepared for himself and nobody had was ever laid there and that garden was the place jesus was buried remember the first man died to god alive to sin in the garden of eden jesus died and was buried in a garden so you and i can have freedom somebody shout amen now before the burial it is customary based on the culture of the israelites that the body should be embalmed are you still following me and when the issue of the embalming of jesus body came on board another rich man showed up a very reputable personality if he was in our day would we'll tag him a professor the man sneaked 3 a.m out of the comfort of his house and visited jesus in john chapter 3 his name is called nicodemus he came with aromatic substance about 45 kg the bible call it 100 pounds he came and the constituent of those aromatic compounds were nard myrrh and aloes and about 45 kg weight that is almost a bag of cement mixed full of good savour and that was what he used to embalm one body if i ask you the average weight of a matured person is between 60 50 to 70 or 80. could you imagine uh 45 kilograms of aromatic substance was used just on jesus's body if you study john chapter 19 from verse and 38 downward you will see this truth but especially from verse 31 it is important for you to study when you get home somebody shall i hear you and so nicodemus uh brought this substance to embalm jesus's body because his body does not need to decompose because he's going to come out of the grave his body needed not to decay because he need to come out of the grave if somebody die in less than 24 hours the body starts smell start smelling but jesus had needed not to smell so could you imagine such expensive such weighty 
material could be used to embalm Jesus because they knew that Jesus' spirit was not dead. It was only his body that died. Of course, when he died on the cross, his spirit went to hell to preach. So even at death, Jesus was preaching. He went to preach to the prisoners, those who were held bound, that died from Genesis to the time that Jesus died on the cross. And I believe one of the last persons that died before Jesus died was Judas Iscariot. So he needed to visit them and tell them that he is the one that Isaiah prophesied. A virgin shall be with his, a child and his name shall be called Emmanuel, which is, which is interpreted God with us. Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14. He said this is, I am the one who it was prophesied in Isaiah chapter 9 verse, 10, verse 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. J Jesus said, I am the one that one among you prophesied David. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. So he needed to tell them about the gospel of salvation. Somebody shout, I hear you. And that was what his spirit was on while his body was being embalmed. Now take note, an expensive tomb in a very important garden embalmed with expensive aromatic properties. Why? Because they knew his body was not a waste. So if you doubt that Jesus came out of the grave, how do you doubt what was placed on him before he came out of the grave? Now, the reason again why his tomb, his sepulcher was, was, um, was secured by soldiers was because it was a very important tomb held by a very important rich man and those soldiers are you following me were not that was not the first time for security to take care of that place the man built the place and put security there because the jewish have high regard for place of burial and in their day you have to open a place and make a hole and cover it it's not just the way we dig our own now. So he had security, securing that place till he died. But when Jesus died, those securities were replaced by the Roman soldiers. And so could you imagine that Jesus was buried in a place that was secured? Why? Because his body needed to come out. Nobody just hearing me. His body needed to come out. That's my personal research about his resurrection. And so not just he came out of the grave, there are things that are silently written and documented for you and I to understand about the resurrected Jesus. And when it was the third day for him to come out of the grave, as we are commemorating this morning, two angels came. One sat out his head region and the other around his limbs region and lo and behold the woman came and she discovered the stone was rolled off and the soldiers were on the ground as if they are dead and as she peeped the angel said why are you looking for the living among the dead listen to me the reason why jesus came out of the grave is because his spirit never went to heaven his spirit went to hell to still preach so he temporarily leave this body so he can come back so for him to reach out to those that died from genesis to um the time that judas iscariot died abraham inclusive isaac inclusive joseph inclusive elisha inclusive isaiah inclusive david inclusive he needed to check out of this body and meet with them because they are already out of the body so he need to check out of this body and meet with them and why he check out of this body joseph had the revolutionary material nicodemus had the revelation and they said let us prepare this body because he is coming back because he's coming back to this body let's place him in a very important place 
age because he's coming back the reason why they place him there was for him to be secured if the grave was not expensive there could have not be anyone to secure it and that is why the soldier said we need to place a security marshal else his disciples will come and pick his body and lie to us that he came out of the grave and so the reason why they secured the place was because it was very expensive are you still here and so he came out of the grave for you and me however he was buried in a better place now could you imagine who on earth has this peculiarity nobody had this peculiarity who on earth had this peculiarity some people try to mimic what happened to jesus but they could not so on the third day which is sunday like today on the first day of the week they decided the angels came and the soldiers fell off and the uh, and, and the angels said to the woman why are you looking for the dead for the living among the dead no he's not here he has gone ahead of you and she ran and she whispered it to peter and whispered to john and whispered to james the three pillars and they ran to the sepulcher and discover it was empty and they remind themselves what he said he said the son of man will go into the womb of the earth and after three days he's going to come out of the grave he is the reason why we are christian he is the reason why we are alive he is the reason why we can be free from sin he is the reason why christ Christianity started. Christianity did not start from the dead Jesus. Christianity started from the resurrected Jesus. The dead Jesus end our relationship with sin. The resurrected Jesus started our relationship with righteousness. The dead Jesus end this blood that carries sin. The resurrected Jesus made us new species. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I've come to tell you that the master's body was well prepared because Joseph and Nicodemus knew that he is gonna come out of the grave. How did I know? Based on my research, I begin to understand in John chapter 3 that when Jesus began to speak to Nicodemus in verse 1 of John 3, Nicodemus said, Master, we know that nobody can do these great things except the person is in concurrent with God. And Jesus stopped him and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Ah, Nicodemus, who is actually old, wealthy, and highly place he said how can a man be born again the second time when he is old in verse 5 of john 3 jesus said except a man is born of the water a type of the word and of the spirit that is a type of the holy ghost he cannot enter the first is see this one enter the kingdom of god and jesus said that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit is spirit that is john chapter 3 verse 6 but in verse 5 he said marvel that i say unto you to be born again in verse 8 it said the wind blows where it listeth you do not know where it's coming or where it's going so it's with everyone that is born of the spirit as moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness so also must 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 the son of man be lifted up so that gave a nicodemus a clue that this jesus will die one day and he will come out of the grave and so he had this revelation he said if i can't follow Jesus publicly I will I will pronounce him when he died hear me child of God I've come to tell you in this Easter service you need to be the voice of Jesus on earth now that you are the proceed of the resurrected Jesus now you are aware of what was packaged on his body I want you to understand that today we are the body of Christ Bible said the church is the body of Christ so if Nicodemus and Joseph can do that to the body of Christ how much more we that we are born into Christ where Christ is the head and we are the body hear me child of God they knew he will came out of the grave that is why they prepared the body and I want you to understand the body that he came out with yes it was a glorious body however it still have the 
content of the human body how did i know remember when thomas did not believe that he is the one that came out of the grave he said look at the pens of my hand can you feel it ah he felt it and still they were not okay and satisfied because at this point jesus did not need to enter through the door he only stand behind the wall and appear at the other wall and he said do you have meat or do you have fish and bread and they brought it to him and he broke it in their presence and he did eat signifying that he still has a body or had a body and so jesus did not came out of the grave as a ghost he came out of a grave as hundred percent man hundred percent god now that you believe in him you have god hundred percent you have christ hundred percent bible speaking in romans chapter eight that we are joined hairs not not few joined hairs equal hairs means as he is so we are so you walk out of this easter resurrection sunday with a mentality that you are a victor because christ died and make you victorious and this is that which overcome the world even our faith let this message bring out this faith in you that my master's body was well prepared because the tomb cannot hold him bound the grave cannot hold him bound and the bible did tell us when jesus was through with his message they, they closed the, the, the gate of hell so that he could not come out but the bible says because david had the revelation lift up you gates and be lifted up you everlasting doors and let the king of glory come in and there was a voice from the pit of hell who is the king of glory and the lord replied the lord strong and mighty he is the king of glory he said lift up your gates and be lifted up your everlasting doors and let the king of glory come in and he said who is now you know the concept is coming the phrase is coming so you think he's checking in no he's actually checking out so brother it's easy to die but it's very hard to come out nobody's hearing me so it's easy to enter hell but to come out is not easy and that is why the bible do tell me in romans chapter 8 verse 11 if the spirit that raised up jesus from the dead dwells in you that same spirit shall quicken vitalize give life to your mortal bodies and so the holy ghost that left jesus on friday came back on sunday morning and hell could not stop him the grave if the grave could not stop him why should the soldiers ordinary soldiers stop him nobody's hearing the sound of my voice i've come to challenge your faith from today don't give god space don't give jesus space let him be your breath let him be your thinking let him be your your idea let him be your mindset because he's the reason why you are alive and so we celebrate his birth but not just we are celebrating his birth but we are telling the world we are the gospel to our community and that is why he said occupy till i come and so if the grave could not stop jesus you are not going to go to the hell nobody's hearing me if hell could not stop jesus you are not going to hell in case if you're not born again all you needed to do is those three things a i said b believe and c confess rise on your feet and so he came out of the grave just for you not just for me alone just for you the tomb is empty the tomb is empty if i get to heaven do you know i will meet nicodemus and joseph and retire i will give them high five i say i love you so much for what you guys did on the body of jesus hear me child of god if the dead body of jesus could receive such a merriment such an expensive uh, perfume how much more now that you are carrying jesus as his temple as his headquarters on earth that is why paul said let no man trouble me for i bear on me the mark of christ and so based on my research about christ's resurrection i see that his body was well prepared because they knew he's not going to remain in grave they knew he's not going to remain in hell i've come to tell you any part of your body that is in pains because he came out you are coming out because he came out you are coming out whether it's delay of joblessness because he came out you are coming out whether it's reproach because he came out you are coming out whether it's stagnation because he came out you are coming out you don't serve a dead god you serve a mighty god he's the same yesterday he's the same today and he's the same forever when god say yes no man can say no i've come to challenge 
change you. Let your faith come alive. Let your faith come alive and go tell somebody about Jesus. The tomb is empty. The tomb is empty. The king is risen. The king is risen. Glory, the king is risen. My king is risen. My king is risen. The tomb is empty. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. And then we'll take your place as you bless us with your ministration. He's alive. My God is alive. My God is alive. Oh, my God is alive. Walk to seven people. Tell the person, my God is alive. Seven persons. Walk to seven persons. My God is alive. My God is alive. My God is alive. Oh, my God is alive. My God is alive. Somebody shall fire. My God is alive. Diabetes, listen. Jehovah is alive. All are listen. God is alive. No more sickness. No more oppression. Devil, wherever you are, keep quiet. I have the mark of the resurrected Jesus. If Christ be in you, the hope of glory. If the Christ be in you, the hope of glory. If the spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you that same spirit shall give life to your mortal bodies somebody shout is reason oh memma is reason oh memma is reason lift up your hands his body was well prepared because they knew he's checking out thank you take your place they knew he's checking out they knew he's checking out thank you father and i say father i love you because you came out you came out you came out you're not muhammad you came out you are not buddhist founder you came out you are not free mastery founder you came out the grave is empty the grave is empty that is why i'm alive somebody scream 